So let's hear about Mr. Rebel Yell, Patty. I think I recognize somebody here from the Rainbow. Yeah, I do. I met Billy at the Rainbow Bar and Grill. I was standing at the top of the stairs to the loft, the lair of the Hollywood vampires. From my vantage point, I could see a perfect microcosm of 80s rockers. There's one who looks like Nikki, one who looks like Vince, and that guy thinks he's Billy Idol. And then I looked again. Holy shit, that is Billy Idol. I flew down the stairs, skidded to a stop in front of him, presented my ample cleavage for his perusal, and with obvious innuendo, I asked, can I get you anything? He understood my offer and with a sexy smile said, yeah, Jack and Coke. I brought his drink saying, it's on me. But he handed me a 20 and said, rock and roll paid for it, didn't it? <laughs> then I asked, if he, I asked if he wanted to smoke a joint with me after work and he smiled broadly and said, yeah, I would. <laughs> Pamela asked me, so you were a forward groupie? And I said, well, you had to be forward in L.A. There's too much competition. So after the fastest last call and cleanup in the history of waitressing, I left the rainbow with Billy. My bosses and father figures, Mario and everybody else, all nodded approvingly, always proud when one of their girls scored a rock star. <laughs> they would. They'd look at, look at the rock stars like, yeah, she's a good girl. You'll like Patty. <laughs> Because we were good girls. Yeah. And uh, Billy put his arm around me and went to catch a cab. We walked past Tammy Down, my very first lover in Hollywood, and Tammy smiled as if to say, you're going to have a good time tonight. <laughs> he was right. Several girls, Pamela asked, several girls have told me Tammy's stories. There must be something about him. Tammy was gorgeous, like a sleazy Marilyn Monroe with a cock. He had that raunchy 80s glam rocker scent, testosterone mixed with Aquanet and Max Factor. Ah, uh, the intoxicating smell of a man wearing makeup. <laughs> anyway, minutes after Billy and I got to my apartment, I was getting rug burns for making out on my living room floor. He's so sexy and his body is absolutely perfect. Billy takes the wheel and he knows how to drive. I finally came up for air long enough to suggest that we go to bed. He's intensely sexual and knew exactly what I wanted. And I discovered how kinky he was when he asked me to put things up his bum. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a first time for everything. But as my partner in crime, Lisa, says in this chapter, he's a rock star, ain't he? So... <laughs> Now, I'm game for anything that gives you pleasure. Just because I don't accept rear deliveries doesn't mean I won't play with you in your backyard. <laughs> the sex toys he found to use were everyday items around my bedroom. My hairbrush got to turn up his ass. Then my stiletto heel. As I saw him looking around, I swear to God, I couldn't help but think, please tell me I put the broom away. Yeah. <laughs> this was as kinky as I had ever been, but he was so fun and sweet about it. He would stop every once in a while, look in my eyes and ask, it's a bit wild, yeah, but it's okay. <laughs> and I'd say, yeah, it's fine, I'm having fun, whatever, you know. Um, and, and he'd keep stopping and checking in with me. It's just a laugh, isn't it? And I'm like, yeah, if you think so, I don't, you know. <laughs> well, it was a laugh, and it was incredibly satisfying sex. Uh, Pamela asks, did you see him again? Uh, yes, I did, a few times. Uh, one night was great. One night I was home listening to his music, and the phone rang, and I picked it up, and a familiar sexy voice said, Hey, Patty, it's Billy. And I said, oh, sorry about the loud music. I was just getting my Billy Idol fix. And in his thick Cockney accent, he said, really, would you like the real thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all you girls just felt that, where I felt it, right? <laughs> I'm like, yes, please. 
Uh, that was a great rock star moment. The next thing I knew, I was in a, clab, in a cab flying to the Sunset Marquee. We spent another wild night making love on every available surface with only Billy's imagination to guide us. And his imagination was endless. We, he even requested a golden shower. No. Uh, only because I was wore out. I can remember one perfect moment, though. His rock-hard body was on top of mine, and I could feel him inside me, slow and steady, rocking the cradle of love. I glanced over his shoulder, and his new video was playing on the television. I laid back down and looked up at Billy. The real thing is so much more fun. 